The knowledge quarter in Liverpool, England is a modern term in business given to the vicinity of Liverpool city centre that focuses heavily on the education, knowledge and research sectors. Topic background Although an unofficial ensemble, the Knowledge Quarter is recognised by the University of Liverpool, Liverpool John Moores University, Liverpool City Council, the North West Regional Development Agency and Liverpool Vision, all of which realise the importance of the area and its major role in the national and international knowledge sector. Various institutions have been cited within the current borders of the Knowledge Quarter for centuries, and many institutions are currently undergoing multi-million pound redevelopment schemes to cement the Knowledge Quarter as the United Kingdom's most successful such location. The Knowledge Quarter generates around 15% of the entire city's GVA and is educating upwards of 60,000 individuals in all manner of disciplines. A special purpose vehicle, known as the Knowledge Quarter Development Company, KQDC, was set up in March 2018 to attract investment and oversee the expansion and development of the Knowledge Quarter's science and technology facilities. The KQDC is made up of partners from Liverpool City Council, the University of Liverpool and Liverpool John Moores University and hopes to attract investment up to £100 million. The council announced in July 2018 that it had signed up three companies to oversee the creation of a spatial regeneration framework for the Knowledge Quarter Gateway. GVA Howe Planning, K2 Architects and Planet IE were tasked to look at how to best redevelop the areas around Lime Street Station and Central Station alongside plans by Liverpool John Moores University for new development of its Copperas Hill site. The report is hoped to be submitted in spring 2019. <laughs> <laughs> Location Geographically, the Knowledge Quarter stretches from Upper Parliament Street in the south to Islington in the north and is bound by Grove Street and Low Hill to the east and Renshaw Street to the west. The Knowledge Quarter generates £1 billion in income per year and supports some 14,000 full-time jobs. It is one of the greatest contributors to the economy of Liverpool. Liverpool Cathedral, Liverpool Metropolitan Cathedral, Philharmonic Hall and the World Museum are also located within the Knowledge Quarter. Since the early 2000s decade, hundreds of millions have been invested in expanding and improving the Knowledge Quarter. The single largest redevelopment scheme is the £451 million new Royal Liverpool University Hospital. Topic Notable institutions Topic <laughs> <laughs> City of Liverpool College City of Liverpool College is the only college of further education in the city located on Myrtle Street was formed in 1991 by an amalgamation of four former colleges since 1999 over £47 million has been invested in City of Liverpool College, which in 2005 was awarded Beacon College status in recognition of its outstanding performance. Approximately 17,000 students are enrolled at the institution. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts LIPA. The Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts is a world-class performing arts university that was established in 1996 by Paul McCartney and Mark Featherstone Whitty. Despite its age, LIPA has already gained a reputation for being one of the UK's leading higher education institutions. The university offers foundation certificate courses, undergraduate courses and performing arts classes for 4- to 19-year-olds. The main Leaper building is housed in the former Liverpool Institute High School for Boys. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Liverpool John Moores University (LJMU). Liverpool John Moores University is the largest educational institute in the city by student population with around 26,000 enrolled. 
LJMU was founded in 1825 as Liverpool Mechanics School of Arts. Over the next century, it merged with various other colleges to become Liverpool Polytechnic, and in 1992 was granted university status as one of the United Kingdom's many new universities. LJMU is arranged into six faculties including Business and Law, Education, Community and Leisure, Health and Applied Social Sciences, Media, Arts and Social Science, Science and Technology and Environment. The majority of these faculties are located at the Byram Street and Mount Pleasant campuses, both of which are situated within the Liverpool Knowledge Quarter. Mass regeneration of LJMU has occurred since the start of the 21st century. Amongst some of the university's newest properties are the £25 million Tom Riley Building, the £27 million Art and Design Academy, and the £37.6 million Clarence Street Building. In total, the university has invested some £180 million in a 10 year campus development program. 2003 to 2013. Topic. Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine LSTM. The Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine was founded in 1898 as the first such school of its kind in the world. The school has made many contributions to tropical medicine, most notably the identification of the vector for malaria by Ronald Ross who eventually went on the win a Nobel Prize for his discovery. LSTM is now a registered charity affiliated to the University of Liverpool and offers numerous postgraduate courses and diplomas. In 2005 Bill Gates donated £28 million to LSTM which allowed for a new £23 million state-of-the-art facility to be built adjoined to the original school. <laughs> Liverpool Science Park Liverpool Science Park was established in 2006 with the completion of the 3,300 square metres square feet Innovation Centre 1 IC1. Within its first year of existence, IC1 attracted over 50 new companies to the city, which further enhanced Liverpool's position as a leading centre of knowledge and enterprise. Nanotechnologies, healthcare, information technology, biotechnology, research and development into the automotive industry and specialist support services all have a strong presence at Liverpool Science Park which can be found between Mount Pleasant and Brownlow Hill. Since IC1 opened, a second building, IC2, has been added and in 2014 a large extension to IC1 opened containing 40,000 square feet of commercial laboratory and office space. In total, the Science Park now provides 120,000 square feet of high specification grade or accommodation and laboratory space. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool Women's Hospital. The £30 million NHS Foundation Trust Liverpool Women's Hospital was built in 1995 after the formation of the Liverpool Maternity Hospital, the Women's Hospital and Mill Road Hospital in 1985. Liverpool Women's is one of only two such hospitals in the United Kingdom, as well as being the largest hospital in Europe devoted entirely to women's health. Maternity services, gynecology, gynecologic oncology, neonatology, reproductive medicine and genetics services are all available at the hospital which is located in the very southeastern corner of the Knowledge Quarter. <laughs> National Oceanography Centre The National Oceanography Centre formerly and still occasionally known as the Proudman Oceanographic Laboratory is located on Brownlow Street to the immediate north of Liverpool Metropolitan Cathedral. The centre is a fully owned research laboratory of the Natural Environment Research Council. World class research takes place at the NOC in the form of studying oceanography covering global sea levels and geodesy, numerical modelling of continental shelf seas, and coastal sediment processes. The NOC began life as the Liverpool Observatory in 1845 and since then has continued to predict tidal activity and monitor overall sea conditions. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Royal College of Physicians. Founded in 1518, the Royal College of Physicians (RCP) is a British professional body dedicated to improving the practice of medicine, chiefly through the accreditation of physicians by examination. In 2016 it was announced that Liverpool had beaten competition from Manchester and Leeds to become the home of the RCP's northern headquarters. The new facility will be housed in a building named The Spine which will be situated on the former site of Archbishop Blanche Secondary School. The £35 million, 15-storey building will open in 2020 with the RCP using the bottom three and top four floors. The remaining seven floors are to be used by businesses in the education and science sectors. Topic: <laughs> Royal Liverpool University Hospital. The Royal Liverpool University Hospital is the largest general hospital in the city with over 50 wards and 850 beds. The Accident and Emergency Department itself is the largest of its kind in the United Kingdom. The RLUH building, which is sited on Prescott Street, was built between 1966 and 1978 and is currently affiliated with both the University of Liverpool and Liverpool John Moores University. In March 2010, plans to demolish the RLUH in 2012 were approved by the British government. Approximately £328 million was to be spent constructing a new state of the art hospital on the same site, with in excess of £100 million being spent on new equipment for the hospital. The 646 bed hospital was due to open in 2017, but the completion date slipped to 2018. In February 2018, the collapse of the construction company Carillion brought work on the hospital to a halt. Construction is not expected to be completed before the end of the year. <laughs> University of Liverpool The University of Liverpool was founded in 1881 as University College Liverpool and was granted university status in 1884 as part of the Victoria University. 1903 saw the institution become independent as the University of Liverpool. UOL is one of the original six red brick universities and a member of the prestigious N8 and Russell groups. Close to 20,000 students are enrolled at the University of Liverpool which offers more than 400 programmes covering 54 subject areas. Like Liverpool John Moores University, the UOL is also undergoing mass redevelopment. Around £660 million is currently being invested in new buildings and facilities for the university. Topic Paddington Village Paddington Village is a £1 billion flagship expansion site sitting at the eastern gateway to the city centre and has been earmarked as 1.8 metres square feet of science, technology, education and health space. In November 2016 a draft master plan was published, outlining the plans for the site, which will be developed in three phases, Paddington Central, Paddington South and Paddington North. The site's first two anchor tenants were announced as being a new Northern Centre of Excellence for the Royal College of Physicians and a new 45,000 square feet education and learning facilities and 262 residential bed spaces for Liverpool International College. Liverpool Mayor Joe Anderson announced that the council were looking into a new Merseyrail station to serve the site. A mention of a station is made in the October 2017 Liverpool City Region Combined Authority update to the long-term rail strategy. Mersey Travel commissioned a feasibility report into reopening the Wapping Tunnel in May 2016 which found that it was a valid proposal which would allow for a new station to be built that could serve the knowledge quarter. Initially, the plans included a 25-story tower but after a public consultation in 2016 the plans were revised. Instead two gateway towers of no more than 15 stories are planned. Liverpool International College hoped to start work on a 13-story tower block in May 2017. The block, which is hoped will be opened in January 2019, will have accommodation for 259 students as well as classrooms and a social hub. It was announced in March 2017 that a proton beam therapy cancer treatment centre would be built next to the new Royal College of Physicians site. 
The £35 million Rutherford Cancer Center is intended to be operational in 2018, offering radiotherapy, chemotherapy and imaging services. Proton beam therapy will become available at the center in 2019. The planned construction of a new 250 bed hotel and serviced apartment facility was announced at the 2018 MIPIM Global Property Expo in Cannes. In November 2018, it was announced that Accor Hotels would be operating the hotel as part of their Novotel brand. The new hotel will be a four-star 160-bedroom facility with a 60-bedroom apart hotel and should be open in 2021. At the 2018 MIPAM UK Property Convention in London in October, it was announced that Proton Partners, the parent company of Rutherford Cancer Centre, had started work on a headquarters for their Rutherford Diagnostics Company. The building will also serve as a research centre and is sited next to their cancer treatment centre. <laughs> 